Hi, Jay. It's Rihanna. Uh, of course, you know this <laughs> because you're looking at my assignment. Anyways, this is my response for Angels in America. And this is actually one of my favorites that we've read and discussed so far. It's just so interesting. If we ever get a chance to do it at Wesleyan, I would audition in a heartbeat. That means we should do it. Wink, wink. Anyways, <laughs> um, so one of the main characters that stood out to me in this play was Roy, who is actually... Um, based off a real person who Trump worked with too. Um, and so this character is a person who holds a lot of political power, but they deny the fact of them being a homosexual and they die of AIDS and like literally deny it to their last breath. Um, then someone who ties very heavily into this character is Joe. Um, Joe is kind of going through something very similar to Roy, except because he's dating, or not dating, he's married to Harper, but he has this relationship with um, Lewis, I believe. I think that's his name. Um, I'm very bad with names. Anyways, um, but he literally sees Roy die denying who he is, and he realizes he doesn't want to do that, and he fully exposes himself to him. So, But then uh, almost being too exposed, he goes back into his comfort zone. Um, but yeah. Um, and then also another person that's, uh, very heavily tied to Joe is Hannah, Joe's mom. And so there's one moment when Joe's on the phone with Hannah and he says, Mom, I'm gay. And his mom kind of just says, Nope, this call never happened. You're just drunk. And so that kind of pushes him back into not wanting to be vulnerable throughout the play as well. Um, a huge character that I love to talk about is the Angel in America. And I think there is the whole play I was just like what does the angel stand for what is the symbolic reasoning um, behind the angels and so we kind of discussed this in class too but we talked about love in the Christianity but not toxic Christianity because there's this one quote that the angel says of um, God has come to love humans more than angels and so I think that God has come to love the toxic, toxicity, toxicity of humans rather than the love that the angels hold.